Hey guys, welcome to the Easy Recaps Movie Review Channel. Today I am going to show you a 2020 animation movie called, Yakari, A Spectacular Journey. Spoilers ahead. So, watch out and take care. The movie starts with the scene of a deep forest, covered by a beautiful blue sky. A running dog is depicted. Yakari, a young boy, was also running after it. Yakari is a member of the Sioux tribe. While he was playing with his dog, a lovely horse passed by over them. This horse's name was Little Thunder, and it was so famous, because no one has ridden on it till now. Yakari is very much amazed to see Little Thunder. On the other side, the Sioux tribe is depicted observing the cows. The people of this tribe believe that, the cows can predict natural disasters, and move if there is any chance of natural disasters. It means they move to a safe place. This is the reason, the peoples of the Sioux tribe is observing their movements carefully. The cows once again change their place and move to another place. Seeing it the peoples of the tribe understands that, now there will be the weather of thunder and tornadoes. They return to the tribe being worried. The next day, Yakari was watching Little Thunder secretly. Meanwhile, his two friends arrived there. There was a boy and a girl. They ask Yakari to go for archery. But Yakari refuses them. He also becomes aggressive, because Little Thunder escapes due to their arrival. Being sad, Yakari's friends leave from there. After it, Yakari goes to his father. He asks his father, will I ever be able to ride on Little Thunder? His father smiles and says, none has taken its ride since now in this tribe. Even the bravest man couldn't ride on it. You are too young to ride on this. After all this, Yakari's father asks him to go to his mother. Returning to his village, Yakari sees everyone is busy with their tasks. His mother was also busy with her work. He helps his mother out with her works. After it, his mother tells him, the weather of thunder and tornado is arriving. Before this weather, they have to relocate to a safe place, where they can live safely. She informs Yakari about a meeting, that is going to be held tonight regarding this issue. However, after it, Yakari climbs into a tree. He sleeps while sitting on a branch. Yakari comes to a dream while sleeping. He dreams that he is flying in the sky with different birds. He is passing from the lovely clouds and becomes an eagle while flying. After this, he passes from a lovely place and enjoys it a lot. Suddenly, he again changes into a human, his dream breaks, and eventually he falls from the tree. After it, we see him hanging on a branch of the tree. What a funny scene it is. However, his mother and grandmother arrive there to save him. By the way, he tells them about his dream. Hearing it, his grandmother tells, it is a good sign to see an eagle in dreams. She says the person who sees an eagle in his dream is lucky. The night appears, Yakari reaches to attend the meeting with his friends. All the villagers were there. His grandmother tells everyone, you all have already noticed that the cows have changed their place. It means the weather is changing. They have to leave this place soon. Yakari's father tells everyone, they have fewer horses and have to catch new horses for their journey. After it, finishing the meeting the old villagers move. Now Yakari tells his friends, that he has seen Little Thunder today. He also tells about his wish, that he wants to sit on Little Thunder for once. Yakari hits an idea, his father along with the villagers, will go hunting for horses the next morning. Probably Little Thunder will also be there. He shares his plan with his friends, that they will follow the villagers secretly the next morning to find Little Thunder. However, the next day when everyone was moving in search of the horses, they also moved behind them secretly. They reach the place where there were many horses. Yakari and his friends were watching the horses being hidden. The villagers were trying hard to catch the horses there, suddenly, Yakari sees Little Thunder, who was running from them while jumping over a horse. Yakari moves behind it alone. Yakari forbids his friend when they were asking for coming with him. Even Yakari also leaves his lovely dog behind. He alone runs after Little Thunder. After moving for a while, he notices that Little Thunder was stuck between the rocks. There are rocks everywhere. Little Thunder was in a bad condition and it can't even move a little. Yakari comes to the Little Thunder and makes it free. After it, he approaches to caress Little Thunder. But Little Thunder runs away. 
However, Yukari once again was about to run behind it, suddenly, the stones nearby start flying. Yukari was also flying in the sky. There was the great eagle in front of him. Yukari asks, who are you? It tells him, I am the one who always protected you. You have proved that you are brave while helping Little Thunder. With it, it gives Yukari one of its lovely feathers. The great eagle says to Yukari, you have proved your soft heart while helping an animal. Because of it, I will give you a gift. But it doesn't tell Yukari what that gift is. After it, Yukari returns to the ground. Yukari feels like it was a dream. He notices that there is none around him and he was sitting on a stone. Suddenly, his dog arrives, it says, thank God. You are fine. Yukari gets scared seeing a speaking dog. But soon he realizes that, maybe this is the gift. Now he can talk to animals, and understands what they say. After it, Yukari starts talking to his dog. He says, now I will ride on the little thunder at any cost. His dog says, we should go back home. But Yukari doesn't listen to it, and starts searching for little thunder. While searching for little thunder, Yukari falls into a river. His dog sees him, and tries to rescue him but fails. After it, it runs to his parents. Going them, it tries to send them back to Yukari to help him. Yukari's parents were already told by his friends, that he has moved in search of Little Thunder. Later, they follow the dog to reach Yukari. While searching for Yukari, they find his footsteps on the way. His footsteps take them straight to the river. They also find the eagle's feather there. It is discovered here, that the feather was lost by him while falling. Yukari was fainted, and was carried by the water to the beaver's den. After regaining sense, Yukari sees that, he has reached a far distance from his village. A little beaver becomes Yukari's friend. Yukari says that it will take time to reach his village. He should start off for his village. The little beaver moves with him a half, while sitting on his shoulders. When it feels it is going far from its house, it says a final goodbye to Yukari and returns. While returning home, Yukari meets Little Thunder on the way. Little Thunder says thanks to him for helping it on that day. When they were moving, they faced some hunters on the way. They were tying those horses with ropes. Yukari says to Little Thunder, I will help you in escaping those horses. Yukari makes a plan with Little Thunder. He says to Little Thunder, you will divert the attention of hunters towards you. Meanwhile, I will release all other horses. Little Thunder does the same. It diverts the attention of hunters, and by getting a chance, Yukari releases the other horses. Later, Little Thunder makes Yukari sit on it and they move. But a hunter was still chasing them. On the other side, Yukari's mother remembers while seeing the feather, that Yukari had told her that he has seen an eagle in his dream. She understands it belongs to Yukari. However, the scene shifts. Yukari and Little Thunder were passing from the mountains. Because it was the only way to reach home. It was a dangerous path, and they face many troubles while passing from this way. Moving forward, Yukari meets a little friendly bear. Yukari starts talking to it lovingly. Little Thunder forbids Yukari and says, We should focus on our path, stop your gossips. Hearing it, Yukari moves forward. Later, a squirrel is shown following them. The night appears, and it was about to cold. They stop in a cave. The squirrel also arrives there inside the cave, and says, I was following you for a long time. Actually, it came here because it wanted to see the snowfall. However, in the morning, Yukari notices there is snow everywhere outside. It means there was a snowstorm at night. They continue their journey. They were somehow passing from the snow hardly. Suddenly, the hunter who was following them, comes in front. He tries to catch Little Thunder. Yukari stops him from coming in front, but doing so, Yukari slips. He falls into a frozen sea, and the hunter also falls down along with Yukari. Yukari starts running. The hunter was following him. While coming out of the water, the hunter was still trying to catch Yukari. Meanwhile, Yukari's father arrives and saves him. Yukari's father becomes happy to see him. They were leaving. Little Thunder was watching them from the mountain at a far distance. It thinks, this is better for him, he should go with his family. Thinking this, it was about to leave. Yukari tries to stop it, but Little Thunder leaves. While leaving with his parents, Yukari notices a tornado is coming from a distance. They were running on their horses. 
Meanwhile, Little Thunder also arrives there. It makes Yukari sits on him. Little Thunder asks Yukari to tell his parents to follow it. Because it knows a shortcut. This was a very short and safe path. They soon reached a safe place. All the villagers were waiting there for them. They notice Yukari is coming while sitting on Little Thunder. Here, they give Yukari the title of the bravest boy. After it, Yukari's father also returns him the eagle feather, and says, you are really brave by heart. Actually, Yukari represents a hidden message in this movie. And that is, if we want something from the heart, we must work hard to achieve it. If we work hard we'll be able to get it. With this lesson the film ends. Thanks for watching.